Hey guys, Mike, Connecticut Auto Lock. I'm inside a 2009 Mazda 6 proximity equipped. This car is a repossession and we're looking to just make an inexpensive key to see if it uh, can get started. Um, you'll notice that there's a cover off uh, on the side of the ignition switch. Your push button's on the center of the, uh, in the center stack and you can pop the cover off and there's a spot to insert a normal transponder key. This is a shell that we put a Ford 40-bit uh, chip into. Um, the key can get inserted into the ignition. Uh, don't start getting all silver back trying to turn the thing. It's not meant to turn. Once it goes in there, um, the car can read the transponder and uh, we'll start from there. So we'll start by selecting 09 Mazda 6 from the menu, which we did. Press start stop. You'll notice the ignition does not power on. We don't have an existing key. We are going to add one single key. Is a programmed key available to switch the ignition on? No. Do you want to enter service mode to force the ignition? Yes. Insert the key to be programmed into the slot. It is. Press the start stop button twice to turn the ignition on. Well, there it is. After one push, it turned on. Were you able to switch the ignition on? Yes. Remove all program fobs from the vehicle. There are none. You'll see our current key count is three. It has now jumped to four. Do you want to program another key? No. Procedure complete. We can now turn off the start stop button. Step on the brake. Now we got a runner. That's a 2009, uh, or a 2000, yes, 9 Mazda 6 with proximity keys, um, storing an inexpensive transponder key just as a backup.